Hello everyone, welcome to Learn Knowledge. This is Abhishek Saxena. Today we will be discussing about the components. So we will be discussing uh, what is component, what are the file structure associated with a component, how we can generate a component using Angular CLI command, and we will be discussing about the TypeScript class, and uh, we will have a real world example. And at the end, we'll have a quiz. So let's just uh, jump to the Visual Studio Code setup that we have done last time. If you have some doubt, you can check that video as well. So a component, uh, it's basically a TypeScript class which interacts with your HTML that will be displayed on your web browser. So in our component, uh, it's a TypeScript class that is being decorated with at the rate component uh, decorator and uh, we have uh, selectors uh, these are selectors uh, that we'll be using in your html code we have a uh, reference to your html file and as a template url and we have an array of uh, style sh style sheets so you can provide any number of uh, style URLs as you want so when it comes to uh, the file structure we have a typescript file here that contains all the uh, modules and your properties we have a spec.ts that you can use for the, your unit testing. We have your HTML that you can uh, write for your HTML uh, tags. And we have a style sheet as well so that you can uh, leverage in your HTML. So uh, in Angular, if we are to talk about uh, how we can create a new component. So Angular provides Angular CLI that comes up with a bundle of uh, various other commands that you can leverage uh, to create components and create modules and uh, various other things so to generate a component what we have is ng generate component your component name and uh, there's a shortcut as well uh, ngg c c for component your component name and identity so these commands are very helpful when it comes to creating a component, creating a folder structure and uh, updates uh, any uh, respective module automatically. So that will save a lot of time to you. So you see we have uh, generated a full, uh, folder here, my comp and uh, all the respective uh, TypeScript, uh, your spec.ts, HTML, CSS file has been generated. And uh, you see we have an update here as well in your app module.ts just go to there so you see we have added a declaration automatically using this command that will uh, bootstrap this component when we serve this application so when it comes to the uh, component uh, TypeScript so we have a constructor here that is uh, a, that is a, a, a TypeScript constructor I mean that it scope it's to the TypeScript only not at the angular file and we have uh, ng on in it that is one of the lifecycle method uh, this particular method will boot up uh, at the time of uh, generating or initializing this component so you can uh, uh, write any piece of code uh, here uh, and that will be executed at the initial initialization time of your component so let's just talk about uh, how we can use this component and to any other component so in our in our application or any and and any of the angular application we have our root component so normally uh, it's uh, what we call our app component and any other component that we generate uh, those are the child components so if we are to use any uh, child component in your parent component so we can use uh, this little guy here so the selector so what you can do just copy this one and uh, go to your app component or actually html we have a lot of code here by default you can simply just uh, select it and uh, you can delete this one you can left this router outlet we'll discuss this later so let's just add one parameter here sorry one paragraph so this is from Sorry, this is from app component. Uh, 
and uh, we have copied a selector as well so you can copy and paste your selector in your tag and you can open and close your selector tag here like this and uh, you can save this class and now you can if you want uh, you can write some piece of code here some html dom as well like my comp work and also if you want you can provide some style sheet as well so since we're using paragraphs we can use uh, paragraph and we can put some color like uh, red and uh, can write some other styles like font size we make it as a 45 pixels so the setup is uh, complete like we have uh, my component and it's having a selector app my component uh, one template url one style url and in your html we have a simple paragraph my comp work and one style as well for a paragraph that will be our of red color and font size of 45 and in your app dot uh, app component.html we have a simple paragraph again here that is, that is saying this is from app component and we have a selector here as well now let's just uh, serve this application there we go let's just give it a minute oh sorry I just forgot to save it So, all done, compiled successfully, and it says your application is listening to localhost 4200. Just copy it from here, open any of the web browser, hit enter. You see, we have this particular guy from your app component, and we have added this my comp work and agile component. So, this is how you can use a selector and you can inject your child component to your parent component so that's all for today we do have a quiz so the question is uh, which one from below is angular lifecycle method option one ng on test option two ng on init option three ng on execute option four ng on module correct answer is option 2 and G on the net so, thank you everyone please hit like comment your queries in the comment section please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update